<laughs> All right, we have Paul here. Peter Novak's out. What do you think? Could be an advantage due to the fact that he came in with a playoff style team and then he made all these kinds of moves. But is it exactly Peter's moves or is it the front office moves? You'll have to determine when you get the new coach in and he makes all these changes. The only advantage that I saw with the new coach and hopefully we'll see is that Peter, every game Peter had different lineups. So you had the front four was always different. So either they were different styles so they couldn't get along or they were the same style and they were playing the same game. So now hopefully that Peter is out, we'll see. I mean, it's a still young team. So, I mean. So you're coaching this team. What's the system? How do you tell them to go out there and play to get the best results with what you have? Well, considering that I come from like a football style background, you know, not the soccer style background, it's always out there as many points as you can score to go out and get it. So you're always going to be on the attack. You're always going to be on the offense. Your most important defensive guy, one of them was Danny Califf, and you got rid of him. Now you got Shane and Williams back there by himself. So, you know, he's back there with a young defense and a young goaltender. So what can he do? He's one man by himself. Fair enough. Thank you. We're here with Tom, Section 109, the word of the day. What do you think about the Novak firing? I think it's a good change for the club right now. Uh, I, I think with uh, Hackworth coming on board, it'll be a good, good change to the club. Uh, we'll see how the new players come in and, and play and see what kind of strategy he puts in place. And what do you think that direction needs to be for the club? How do you think they need to change to improve? I think we need a little bit of stability. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of player movement, player changes are not good for the club as a, as a team, I don't think, my, my opinion. Um, I think if we can continue to have some consistent players, I think it will be a good change for the club. And which of those players do you think need more consistency and which guys you want to see out there uh, for some more minutes? Well, it's too early in the season, believe it or not, for me to tell that. Um, I think having Torres coming back, I think that will be a good, good change in the midfield. Uh, McElhaney, McElhaney, that will help as well. Sounds good. Enjoy the game. All right, here with Jack, Section 136. What do you think about uh, Peter Novak being removed from his position? Since mostly everybody hated him, I'm, I'm kind of with everybody else that no one really hate. I really hated him, so I'm really happy that he left. So how do you think the team's going to do now that uh, they've moved on to, to the new coach? I hope they do really better, that that coach is really gone and then that um, other co new coach is coming in. And who are your favorite players out there who you think need to see more of the field? Freddie. Freddie Adu? Yep. All right. Thanks a lot. Spencer, Section 105, Novak's out. What do you think? I think it's great. I think it's a good opportunity for the team. I think it's going to give us a boost. We're going to go forward with this now. And what are your thoughts on, on John Hackworth from what you've seen in, um, in him, and do you think he's ready to take over? Uh, I definitely do. Um, he's shown a lot of experience. He has the backing of with his co coaching with the college experience and everything else. So I think he's definitely going to show us what he can do, and hopefully going forward we'll have the opportunity to, to keep going. And if you're in his shoes, what are the first changes that you're making to help this team right the ship? Um, I think we need to bring a lot of people off the bench. Um, it's definitely a young team, so we have to show them what we can do now. Um, we need to push forward, even though make it a little bit more exciting for the fans and everything else. We have been sitting back a lot, so I think going forward now we'll have that opportunity. And bringing the younger players, really go, and go for it. And which specific of those younger players do you think are the most deserving of some, some minutes? Um, well, with Torres coming back, I know he's not one of the younger people, but um, he's definitely going to be helpful and everything else. Um, I don't know, some of the newer players still not, they still haven't proven themselves yet, so I guess we're going to be up in the air for all of them. Well, thanks a lot. Enjoy the game. Thank you. I have uh, John here, yeah, particularly John. a friendly supporter from uh, Section 129. So, so tell me a little on your, your thoughts about Peter Novak. Glad. Glad. That was, that was succinct. Uh -huh. All right, now, now John Hackworth. Mm, eh, I don't know, I'm in between. I'm decisive about the whole thing. All right, so you're the coach. Now you have to use some words. Describe what you would do to make this team better. Bring Latou back. Latou back, assuming that's not possible? Get rid of Mwanga. Oh, he's going. Um, bring Latou back again. There you have it. We got Frank here from section 116. Uh, I've heard you have some strong opinions on Peter Novak. Well, I've been asking for his, uh, ever since uh, the whole Latou debacle that they had in the beginning of the year, I was, uh, I was looking for him to go. So, so he's gone and, and Hackworth's in. Is that enough of a change for you? You think he can uh, right the ship? Uh, I do like him as a coach. 
the problem I was having is every week we would have different players. We would pick up this guy, pick up that guy. You got to have a little stability in the soccer game because people have to play together. They got to get a, a feel for, you know, what, what they're doing out in the field. Hopefully, this guy's going to bring in. I think he will. So outside of stability, what else does this team have to do to start scoring goals? <laughs> get some better players. So you want more players? I thought you said you wanted consistency. No, no. We should have kept the players that uh, that uh, Novak let go. Some of the players we have now are good. I think we'll start scoring more goals when we have the same players out there on the field every game and, just, and the guys know how to start playing together. That's what you need. You can't change every week. Every week we would have this guy starting, this guy starting, this guy starting. It just can't happen that way. Soccer is like every other sport. You you got to have you got to know who's playing on your right, who's playing on your left, whether it's football, basketball, or soccer. And once they get to know that, the, the team's going to be better. Wise words. I agree. Yes.